So you clicked on this video because you've been flying your DJI Vata for a little while now, but you still can't seem to get that super smooth stable footage. Well look no further. In this video, I'm going to break down for you the most basic rule of flying your DJI Vata that nobody seems to know, and that is to adjust your gimbal angle. Now if you're wondering why you should listen to me, my name is Dane Visuals and I'm a content creator from Jamaica who's been flying drones for over 6 years. So yeah, I know a thing or two. So without further ado, let's begin. Gimbal angles operate completely different on FPV drones versus regular drones. Now on a regular drone, you adjust your gimbal angle to get different perspectives. That way you can, you know, combine movements to get different shots. On FPV drone, it's a little different. When you tilt your gimbal up and down, it actually affects how fast your drone flies. The higher you raise your tilt on your gimbal, the faster the drone is going to move. That is something that I haven't seen a lot of people talking about and it was very confusing for me at first because I'm used to combining my gimbal movements to get different kinds of shots. But ideally, you don't want to be moving your gimbal too much when you're flying an FPV drone, if any at all. So what I've learned is that there are particular gimbal angles that help you to get smoother and stable flights. So for instance, if you're flying indoors, it is recommended to use a gimbal angle between 5 to 10 degrees on your DJI Vata. What this is going to do is it's going to help you to actually maintain a slow and moderate pace. When the gimbal tilts up, the drone has to fly faster forwards to keep the camera angle level on the horizon. So what that does is make the drone pushes a lot faster when going forward. When the gimbal is leveled, like at a lower angle, the drone does not have to have that much speed to go forward. So that was something that was very interesting for me to know because honestly I did not know that had an effect. So even though I was adjusting my rates, I didn't realize that I was still flying relatively fast on my drone or I was flying too slow. So it's always a good rule of thumb to adjust your gimbal angle based on what you're shooting. So for the DJI Vata, which is a CineWhoop drone, if you're gonna be flying close to people or indoors, you're gonna to want to use a lower gimbal angle. You can use a gimbal angle between zero to 10 degrees. That's gonna give you slow controlled flight speeds. If you're going for more slow cinematic outdoor shots, which is not necessarily too much fast, but a little bit faster than the indoor gimbal angle, you can use between 10 to 15. And then I also see where DJI recommends you can use between 15 to 25 degrees on your gimbal angle for those faster outdoor shots. Now, personally, for cinematic stuff, I'm not trying to go too fast. So I basically go between 10 and 15. I'm also a relatively new flyer, so I'm not trying to go crazy. If you've been enjoying this video so far, then feel free to hit that subscribe button below as it helps me to make more videos like this just for you. Now in order for you to adjust your gimbal angle on your DJI Avatar, you're going to have to be in manual mode. Now you're only going to have the manual mode option if you enable it on your drone by playing around with the controller. Once you've done that, once you have the controller, all you have to do is use the left cogwheel and scroll it down to tilt your gimbal downwards or scroll it up to tilt your gimbal upwards. Try to maintain a positive gimbal angle as negative gimbal angles are going to give you a very weird flight orientation. But bear in mind that adjusting your gimbal angle only works when you're in acro mode. If you're not flying your drone manual, then it doesn't really matter what gimbal angle that you're using because it doesn't really have an effect. When you're flying in sports mode or normal mode on the DJI Vata, the gimbal angle works pretty much like a regular drone. But if you're in acro mode, trust me, try to keep your gimbal angle a little bit lower. Also a point to note is that ideally for beginners, you want to stay between five to 10 degrees. If you go lower than five, which I believe if you go to zero, it is also a little bit more difficult to maneuver. So I highly recommend you stay between five to 10 degrees it's gonna give you slower, more leveled movement and it's gonna be easier for you to control. That is a super amazing thing that has drastically improved my flying because I was adjusting my rates, things were changing, but it was sometimes it just felt a little bit out of control and I finally understand why. Also bear in mind that if you're flying in strong wind, that can also affect you know, your gimbal tilt. A next piece of information to note is that the DJI Vata is a cine whoop drone. So it's primarily meant for flying close to people and those indoor, um, you know, those indoor interesting flights. You don't want to be doing any crazy stunts outdoors 
Like yes, you can do a freestyle, but its main purpose is for indoor or closest use. So be mindful of that and try not to go overboard. So when you're getting used to flying at different gimbal angles, remember to practice in your simulator. Don't just go out there and start adjusting it off the bat. Try out or test out different camera angles or different gimbal angles in your simulator so that you can get used to it. Also, adjust your rate as it pertains to the camera angles. At some rates, it might be weird to operate particular camera angles. So you have to find your sweet spot. Don't be afraid to play around in your simulator of choice. I use Uncrash, but personally say liftoff is great. You can also try the DJI simulator if that's what works for you. But just try to try different rates and different gimbal angles and also go out there and test it in real life. A point to note that even though the DJI Vata is extremely durable, the gimbal does not have that much protection. So you're gonna try to avoid collisions as much as possible. While the drone can take a little beating, if you do get a direct hit on the gimbal, it's very easily damaged. So try to fly as safely as possible and practice, practice, practice. But trust me, once you start experimenting with your gimbal angle, you realize that flying is gonna come a lot easier, especially if you already got like a basic idea of how to fly. So if you enjoyed this video so far, the YouTube algorithm says that you're gonna enjoy this video right here.